Okay, in this question, it says here, the author of the passage mentions the classical conception of free will primarily in order to do what? And so the idea here in this problem again is we have the will followed here by the actual movement. So you think, ha, I want to move my right hand. That's the W, and then you have the movement. What happened is the results show that the reverse was true. Now, the reason that's why this is a big deal is the classical model. The classical conception follows this, and we can see that the results clearly did not match this. And so the reason, now this is the question again, the reason why the author mentions this model is to show that these results here were surprising. Wow, we didn't expect this because the classical model said the opposite. And so right away we can home in on answer choice E, which is indicate that the reason the results of the neuroscience study were surprising. Now there's a few trap answers in here, starting with A. Argue that earlier theories regarding certain brain processes were based on false assumptions. Now, it may very well be that this classical model is based on a false assumption, especially if we are getting results that are very different. But why is the author mentioning the classic conception? And that is the key. Why are they mentioning the classical conception? To show us that these results were surprising. Not to say, oh, the classical conception must therefore be wrong. That's not why he mentions it. So we get rid of A. And then there's also C, provide a possible explanation for the unexpected results. If you notice, he hasn't told us, wow, what could possibly account for this movement first and then your perception that you will to move. Paragraph never really gets there, doesn't provide a possible explanation. It definitely talks about the unexpected results, but again, what's the point of the classical conception to tell us why this was surprising? Because as you can see, MW is the opposite of WF. So again, get rid of C, and the answer is E.